we have detected errors in sample. Okay. So, we need to delete certain errors and we need to add some errors. Okay. In evaluating misstatement, the auditor should exclude anomalous error from his projected misstatement. Projected misstatement may we will minus we will deduct anomalous error. Okay. For example, you have detected an error of uh, 100,000 and it consists of 20,000 anomalous error. So, you will project your error by 80,000 rupees to the population and not the you know 100,000 because anomalous error is not a representative error and does not recur. However, such error may be considered when evaluating the misstatement. Of course, it is an error. Finally, we need to consider, we cannot ignore it and this error does not mean that we ignore it, but for the purpose of projection, we deduct it. Each error or deviation discovered will be, ab iske qualitative aspect ko dekhe. Ke thik hai, ye to quantitative aspect tha. Now, let us see the qualitative aspect. whether it has an effect on the whole population or is an isolated or localized occurrence. Sometimes there is a computer breakdown and error is highly localized in that particular period okay? and we know the reason. So, we have to qualitative, qualitatively analyze and treat this error separately. An error due to posting, ah, now again if there is a posting error, it will not affect the total balance of data. Of course, it will affect the other aspect of the audit like aging, but it will not if our uh, objective is to test the balances, the total balances overall, then it will not be an error for that purpose. Similarly, a control deviation, magar management has properly authorized and you agree with that authorization, there is nothing wrong. There was a specific situation where this, where this authority was given. So, this is not an error. Qualitatively, it is not an error. Okay. So, its nature, cause and possible impact on other audit areas will also be evaluated. Okay. I mean, whether it is indicative of fraud, implication on audit, implication on integrity of management, these are also need to be considered while we are analyzing these errors. Some errors have a common features and we want to test it further with some additional data. So, what do we do? Then we create a population of those errors and then we apply further procedures on that we can call it a sub population. Qualitative analysis may humko kya kya Jawab uh, Do deviation represent a pervasive error made consistently on all transactions or it is an isolated mistake? Are deviation intentional or unintentional in nature? As I just said, if it is intentional, then it is indicative of fraud. And you all know that under the clarified ISS, if fraud is detected irrespective of value, it is a significant risk. It is a significant risk and we need to consider the implication on our overall audit. Do deviation represents a misunderstanding of instructions or careless attention of duties? Do deviations implications with regard uh, have implications with regard to effectiveness of other controls? For example, information and technology controls. Thank you. Now, uh, attachment 3, non statistical sampling with stratified population of substantive test of details. Okay. But do not change it because I have already specified to you in its strict sense it is not sampling. Okay. But we do this practically, so that is why we are doing it. Okay. This is what we practically do. So, we are not interested ke bhai wo kya hai, objective is se pura ho hai, or in all material respect we can say 
the financial statement reflect true and fair view or we are in a position to say that financial statement do not reflect true and fair view. Look, our no interest is not. Our risk is that our opinion is wrong. Okay? Whether a company is going concern or is not a going concern, it goes down. Okay? The, we will lose the fees finally. <laughs> but in any case, what is our risk? So whatever the situation is, we give the opinion. If it is a knowing, not, not a going concern and we, we succeed in detecting, in identifying, in reporting that it is not a going concern, there is no audit risk. Audit risk, there is no audit risk. Okay? So, we have, um, okay. so, wo alpha beta ke chakar mein maa ko nahi dalna chahata. Because abhi tak humara us point ko abhi humara touch nahi hua hai. कि जिसमें ऑडिटर को इस बात पे पकड़ा जाए कि यार तुमने जो है रिपोर्ट को क्वालिफाई किया और गलत क्वालिफाई किया ठीक है वो सिचुएशन इज नॉट देयर सो ओके नाउ कमिंग डाउन टू द प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन क्लाइंट ये वो सारा ऑब्जेक्टिव हमारा क्या है सर्कुलराइजेशन ऑफ डेटर्स टू कंफर्म एग्जिस्टेंस पॉपुलेशन हमारी क्या है डेटर्स एक्सक्लूडिंग क्रेडिट बैलेंसेज जाहिर निकाल देंगे हम उसमें से ठीक है आगे ठीक बैलेंसेस हमारे पास आ जाए ओके सैंपलिंग यूनिट 1100 अकाउंट्स, डेटर्स की वैल्यू 42 मिलियन 500,000 टोटल वेरिएबल वेरिएबिलिटी जो है हमारी 1000 थाउजेंड टू वन मिलियन फोर जजमेंट हमने अपना अप्लाई किया वी हैव सेलेक्टेड फाइव अकाउंट्स ओवर रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड टोटलिंग रुपीज फाइव मिलियन वर कंसिडर टू बी इंडिविजुअली मटीरियल leaving a remaining population of 1095 accounts with a value of rupees 37 million 500000 to be sampled okay theek hai na baki isko humne nikal diya highly material item ko ab hamare paas jo remaining population reh gayi wo 37 million 500000 isko hum population kehte hain but is in strict sense it is a sub population tolerable error 1 million 300000 कंट्रोल रिस्क हमारा मॉडरेट हमने अस्यूम किया या जमशन से साथ इफेक्ट ऑन डिटेक्शन ऑफ रिस्क ऑफ अदर सब्सटैंडिव प्रोसीजर्स इफेक्ट ऑफ डिटेक्शन रिस्क ऑफ अदर सब्सटैंडिव प्रोसीजर्स क्या है हमारे हम क्या कर रहे हैं इसके अलावा भी प्रोसीजर्स अप्लाई करेंगे वो क्या एनालिटिकल प्रोसीजर्स प्रोवाइड मॉडरेट अश्योरेंस कट ऑफ टेस्ट प्रोवाइड मॉडरेट अश्योरेंस दिस ऑल्सो वी है एक्सेप्टेबल लेवल ऑफ सैंपल रिस्क हमारा मॉडरेट Expect, expected errors जो है वो few. Now reliability factor ये जो मैंने आपको बताया था कि different names are given by uh, different firms ठीक है कोई इसको adjusted sample one of the big four they call it an adjusted sample factor अगर कोई वहाँ से है तो we can you know can read me very well they use the wordings adjusted sampling sample factor सैंपल फैक्टर को उन्होंने एडजस्ट किया क्योंकि क्या करते हैं कि हम सैंपल के साइज को रिस्क को कंसीडर करते हुए बढ़ा देते हैं थोड़ा सा तो यहां पर हमारा जो है वो आ, अगर हम देखें तो कौन सा जो है वो रिस्क अगर रिलायबिलिटी फैक्टर से कौन सा फैक्टर अप्लाई होगा 2.3 पॉइंट थ्री यस ट्रू सो मूविंग फॉरवर्ड अब हम क्या करेंगे कंपिटिशन ऑफ सैंपल साइज सैंपल का साइज कैलकुलेट कंप्यूट करें आई एम सॉरी हमारे पास बोर्ड नहीं है इस तरह से बोर्ड तो है मगर अगर इफ आई सॉल्व ओवर देयर यू कैन नॉट व्यू इट सो दैट इज दैट इज व्हाई वी आर सॉल्विंग इट लाइक दिस अदरवाइज वी कुड हैव डन इट ओवर देयर सेलेक्टिंग सैंपल अच्छा सॉरी फिर हम सैंपल का साइज कंप्यूट करेंगे सैंपल का साइज हाउ डू वी कंप्यूट पॉपुलेशन वैल्यू डिवाइडेड बाई टॉलरेबल एरर into reliability factor let me help you out if you do it you will get 66.344 and we can round it off to 66 okay so sample size is 66 now assume that after applying the systematic procedures or whatever the basis of mus or jo bhi kiya aapne uski basis par aapne jo hai wo ek sample derive derive kiya uski value banti hai 1 million 800000 तो बाकी चीज हम डिस्कस कर चुके हैं ठीक है टू मेक इट शॉर्टर वन मिलियन एट हंड्रेड थाउजेंड सिक्सटी सिक्स इन नंबर्स आउट ऑफ वन थाउजेंड नाइन